Yep, this is so official. I just created this thing last night. Official page on YouTube. Don't forget to follow and like and subscribe. But yeah, here we go to a big start. So I'm like doing my mushroom thing. Everything's going good, you know, everything's all right. And I just hear these noises kind of thing. And I'm like, what's going on? I'll show you, hopefully they're still there. Oh yeah, they are. We got a big brawl going on. Hopefully you guys could see it. There's these roosters that are going at each other, trying to show who's bigger. Wow, look at this. Just randomly, somebody already went at it. They could either be pheasants or roosters. Look at the avocados though, pot. Oh, it was pheasants fighting. Can you guys see? They look like fat chickens. It doesn't even scare them. I don't even know how to scare a bird. There it goes. So we're in Hanukkah and this is gonna be like my first vlog kind of thing. I ended up here magically thanks to the universe and God and all the things above, right? I ended up in this ma most beautiful place here on Big Island. And they're giving me an opportunity to grow mushrooms. I picked up this hobby during COVID. I'm not an expert, but um, I just make it up as I go. Cause you know, there's no wrong way to do it. There's over a hundred ways to grow a mushroom and there, you can't do it wrong. You might get smaller yields, you might get more contamination, but there's no wrong way to do it. Anyway, so over here, I'm starting my mushroom operation. Like I said, making it up as I go. So I started in this one little area. I could probably show you guys in the background. I got some photos and stuff, my harvest. I didn't record, well, I did. I don't know how to implement it in the video to make it into a story. So if there's random just mushroom footage, just bear with me. It's my first time trying this. But we had a few really beautiful harvests. I didn't do the count because we had a party. So I don't know how many pounds. I'm assuming like three pounds I got and maybe less. And um, the first flush, the first flush though. And uh, we had a really fancy chef cook my food. And uh, hopefully you could see the pictures of the food right there and um it was really nice because like, a lot of people were scared to eat mushrooms because a lot of people growing up don't like them like olives and all this stuff right whoa the frog just went crazy man distractions are everywhere we had that party and a lot of people got really stoked on mushrooms and nowadays we're starting to discover that you could do a lot more with mushrooms plus doing things with mushrooms they're vital for our human survival they're literally the most important part of us being human is the mushroom. Without mushrooms, see all these leaves? They would be here like, I don't know, mountains, mountains of leaves because they would never get decomposed. Like right here, let's see, let's find you guys a mushroom. Like this guy is working really, really hard, this guy. And there's a lot of them. I'm working really hard. to compost this into material that other plants could use. And this is why other plants are doing much better than other areas when there's mushrooms around, because they have more nutrients to use, um, have mycorrhizal species. There's many different types like chanterelles and uh, tuft, uh, sulfur tuft mushrooms. And I, I can't name them on top of my head. I'm a little nervous talking to a camera, but um, what they do is like, for example, the sulfur tuft, it's a mycorrhizal. I hopefully I'll take you guys on a walk later and I'll show you guys the mushroom that heals the trees. It heals fungal diseases. The funniest part is it's a fungus that heals fungal diseases and it helps the trees. So when you get there, you could see the difference in the trees. They're much bigger, brighter, stronger, more leaves, everything because the mushrooms 
are helping them. The mushrooms, they love sugar. That's their main part of diet is sugar. Whoa, I almost walked into a spider web. Jeez, you guys almost got me. Okay, I should stay closer here then. All right, take two, mushroom rabbit hole. Because this is a lot. I get too many thoughts at one time trying to explain a few facts because I don't know how much information you guys already have about mushrooms. If anything, this is why I created the channel. We're gonna learn together doing all this stuff. The mycorrhizals, they love sugar. And carbohydrates are a complicated type of sugar. Don't quote me, I'm not a genius, but this is from what I understand. And this is why I grow most of my mushrooms on sugar, right? And um, growing it on sugar, the mushrooms, they also spread their mycelium network. They're not plants, so they have this other thing. It's a single cell organism that just spreads through earth. Let's see if I could find you. Oh, I could probably find you some right now. Watch. Go back to that mushroom. Check this out. So the mycelium network, if I dig in here, It's hard to see. Oh, you can't even see it, but all these roots, they're all white. They're all white. And there's little pins coming off of... Anyway. What the plants do, they let the mushroom grow inside the roots. So they could trade, it's like a network, it's like an exchange, I don't know, let's call it a grand exchange. And um, they just trade resources. The plant needs iron, I don't know, it needs uh, some other random material like, I don't know, clay or, or water, I don't know, they just trade. Whatever the plant needs, the mushroom gives it to it, and in return, the mushroom gets the sugar that it, that it likes. And so they have a community going on. They have a whole, it's like an internet and under the ground and we don't even know about. Sorry if I blabbed too much. Hopefully you guys understood what I was trying to say. But as time goes with these videos, you guys will understand the point I'm trying to make. We can't live without mushrooms. We got, some, we got lots of elm oyster. We got some blue oyster over there. Do you like the light? So we get them some light for the pickle. Look at that. It grew right into the straw. This was one little straw and it produced this many mushrooms. Let's see if it's still in there. Oh, it's still in there. It grew on top of the straw, like this tiny. And we got all that. Nuts. So this is uh, Hanukkah, October 22, 2022. That's why it's so confusing. Try saying that, 22, 2022. You know? But anyway, um, this is the first harvest of uh, Pahala Lodge that we ever got. Oh, and now from it. now on, we're on in the game, you baby. Got it, got it. Aloha, people. Aloha. All right. All right, let's check them out. You got everything controlled, temperature, humidity. Yeah, it's Bluetooth, so I'm on the table over there and I could see it. So you can control yeah. everything. Nice. I just run in here. I'm going to get it automated, like a automated system where it senses the humidity and the temperature, it just turns on. I noticed that right here, you have a, a device. That's now, I'm doing an analog right now. There's one. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at that, that's, 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 that's the stalk, so it's actually oh, man, that's several in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, so there, this will just continue to come I up. I could do it one more time, I'm going to wet this log. And then they're gonna do another flush. This is just wood, man. Yeah, well, sawdust. Really? Sawdust. Yeah, sawdust. it's just wood. Feel it. Sawdust. Oh, sawdust. Yeah. Not even wood, just sawdust. It's just yeah. sawdust. Oh, wow. Interesting. Wow. That is wild for sure.
Why can't I shoot him? This oh, there's his mom. He's like, yeah, mom. Mom, save me. There's mean people. I'm sorry, buddy. Mom, there's hippies. I like him.